Jeez. Hey there, folks. I just, whoa. I just got back from Shields. That's Shields right there. Had to pick up a couple things. I didn't take you guys with me. I used to work there, uh, so everyone stops me and talks to me, and I figure if I'm carrying a camera around, it's just it's gonna take way too long for me to get in and out. So, I'll show you what I got, though. I got a pack of five inch green pumpkin black flake Senkos, a pack of five inch black red flake Senkos, and a pack of five aught round bend hooks. Not a ton. Uh, but just a couple things that I need. I left all my Sankos uh, when I was in Florida at ICAST. Lunkers has them. He says he's mailing them back to me. I don't believe him, so I went out and bought a few packs. Anyways, I am headed fishing today with my friend Ethan, going to his grandma's lake house on a John boat. Uh, it's 5 o'clock, so we're probably going to not even start till fishing until like 7. Gives us about two hours of fishing time. So, my goal is to catch big fish on top water. All right, made it to Ethan's house. He's gonna drive us to the lake. These are my poles that are set up. I've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of top waters, some jigs, all that good stuff, but we need to get to the lake ASAP. made it to Ethan's grandma's lake house. Starting to sprinkle, so hopefully it holds off a little bit, but could make the fishing good. We are getting, let me let me go find this boat real quick. We are rocking that little John boat here today with the trolling motor. There's the lake. It is 609 and there's a dog barking. So we've got a little less than three hours to fish. All right, let's go. Ethan is rigging up. I'm gonna go throw this jig onto the dock. Do you think I'm gonna catch one? See. <laughs> All right. Nope, no fish on the docks. Gonna go put the boat in the water. Woo, we're floating. It's a little different than the old Triton. Let's try the buzz bait here. You got one? Oh! Uh oh, Ethan caught one. I'm trying to get back there without falling. There you go. There you go on the jig. The old jiggy jiggy. Is that a new tech? There you go. First fish of the day. It's been about an hour. There's one. Oh! Yeah! Of course, mine's tiny, but you know. Got to weed out the babies for the giants. Got to, his mama's probably protecting them down there. On the new tech black and blue jig. Looking for a better one. It is now 7.30. We've caught two. I missed one, like a solid, solid bite. And we're kind of zooming to a different part of the lake. So far it's been tough. We got here and it's raining and cloudy. So we had the idea that we would catch them on top water right away. And of course, it gets hotter than hot and sunny out here, so we're, we're skipping jigs under docks and stuff. We're doing all right, but it uh, definitely could be better. We're gonna bank on like a 30 minute topwater bite at the end, so yeah, that's about all I got for you. If you guys wanna know how we caught these fish, assuming I make this into a video, make sure to stay to the end, and I will do a recap on the lures and tactics we use today. There's one. Yeah, it might be a good one. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Oh, finally. He's getting scared there, Point. Oh. Woo. Well, it's not as big as I thought, but you know, it's a fish. Nice little, probably two, two and a half pounder on the chatterbait. Gonna go for the release. It is 8.20 and caught that one on a chatterbait you saw and I am determined to catch topwater fish. So I think I'm gonna dedicate the rest of the night to throwing a buzz bait or a frog or a spook.
There's one. Whoa! Get in here, boy! Topwater fish. Ooh. That right there is what I'm talking about. Buzzbait fish, double hooked, not coming out. I'm determined to catch them on top water. Just stick to it, have faith, and go fishing with Ethan Malley. You can accomplish anything in life. I feel like they do feed a night shut off during the day because no one's really been smacking them. Super nice, dude. I don't even think I've even fished with him once. I know I used to just fish those Wednesday nighters and he'd be there in his little. There's one. There's one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Woo! Come on, boy. Yo, buzz bait. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. Oh. Yep, that's the biggest one of the day. Oh, they're clapping for me. Hey! Two, about 2.5, 2.6. We're on a boat, so it's kind of, kind of tough. Probably the biggest one of the day. Good fish. Okay, so we are ending the day, it's dark. Caught a few on buzz baits, chatter baits, and jigs. It's gonna be too dark by the time we get back for me to do like a recap and go over the baits, but I know you guys like that stuff, so I am going to pick the camera up tomorrow morning and uh, scrap together a little recap and try to teach you guys a thing or two about catching bass in the summer. That guy, that's Ethan Malley. Go follow him on Instagram. I'll link it below. He's a babe. Babe. See you guys. The next day. Well, howdy there, folks. It is the next day, as you saw. And I don't have any of my gear with me. It's in my garage, and I don't want to get it. So, I'm going to mentally remember what happened last night. And if you guys want to know what like any of the products I'm talking about look like, make sure to check the description. I've got links to all the products that I'm about to talk about, as well as discount codes. I've got a 15% off New Tech Lures code and a 20% off Castaway Rod code that you guys can use as much as you want. So basically what I did is I went out to Ethan's grandma's house like, like you guys saw, and uh, our intentions were throwing top water. It was cloudy, it actually started to rain on our way there. Of course, as soon as we get the John boat out, the clouds disappeared and it got really sunny. So what we did was we started skipping jigs under docks, um, flukes, Sankos, plastics, that type of stuff. And I don't think we caught any under docks. Ethan caught one on a jig on a seawall. I think I caught two fish on a seawall on a jig. And then we went to the dam, started throwing chatterbaits and crankbaits, some more reaction stuff, and I hooked into one on a crazy jig. And then I picked up a buzzbait for the remainder of the night, and I believe I caught two fish. So I'm gonna go over the setups really, really, really quick. My jig setup was a Castaway Tyrannus seven foot heavy. 17 pound Seaguar Invis X fluorocarbon with a 8.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. And I'm starting a black and blue New Tech half ounce jig. The second setup was the crazy jig, and that was on a castaway rod. It was a skeleton uh, shallow crankbait rod that they don't make anymore. Um, but if you're looking for a rod for spinnerbaits or chatterbaits, Castaway has a Tyrannus that is a spinnerbait rod. So that's what it's called, spinnerbait. It's like 610 and it works really well. And the jigs, we are throwing up against seawalls and docks. The chatterbait, we are throwing around rocks, uh, just on the dam, that type of stuff. And then the buzzbait setup that I had was on that castaway terrain spinnerbait rod that I'm talking about. And that is a 610 castaway terrain spinnerbait. Oh, I didn't go over the line for chatterbait. Rewind. On the New Tech Crazy Jig setup, I had, I told you the rod, I had 17 pound Seaguar Invisix fluorocarbon with a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio reel. And then on the buzz bait, I had a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio reel, 40 pound Seaguar Smackdown tournament braid. And the rod, again, was the Tyrannus spinnerbait rod. The buzz bait in particular was a black War Eagle. And we were throwing that around seawalls, rocks, um, basically anywhere just around docks. And I pulled off the two biggest fish of the day on that lure i think at least i think the biggest came off of that it's kind of hard to remember but overall had a great time uh fishing on the john boat it reminds me of the good old days when i was 15 and 16 years old when i had my very first boat and it was a john boat if you want this bomb sombrero you just let me know i'll send it to you and if you're enjoying these fishing videos i'm trying to pump out as many fishing videos as i can before college starts up because then life is going to get difficult again uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up. You leave a thumbs up that lets me know, you know, that you guys really do enjoy these videos. Or if you don't enjoy them, let me know what you want to see 
If you guys want to see more tip videos, I try to do a little ending segment uh, which gives you tips in the fishing video, so it's kind of like a double, double two bird, one stone type deal, you know? But if you want to see something else besides these fishing vlogs, you just let me know. If you want this bomb teeter-totter airplane, you let me know. I'll send it to you. P.O. Box is open. It's P.O. Box 8, Boyce Town, Nebraska, 68010. Send me fan mail. I will do a fan mail unboxing one, either once a week or once every two weeks. It just depends on how much fan mail I get. All right, I'm getting out of this thing. Also, I've seen a lot of fishing YouTubers do like little Q&A sessions. If you want me to do that, let me know. I, I, I find that stuff kind of boring, um, but kind of interesting. And so I can pick some like cool comments. So if you want me to do a Q&A, let me know and then ask me a question in this video and I'll answer in a Q&A. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. There's one. Oh, what the? <laughs> I'm not even putting this in the video.